everyone. Thanks for logging on to CBSColorado.com. Time now for a few extra minutes with Mark Rycroft of your Colorado Avalanche. And Riker got a big game coming up tomorrow. Colorado taking on the Tampa Bay Lightning. They obviously got shut out 5 nothing just uh, recently against the Lightning. There's the Stanley Cup that they just played. And of course, the yes. Avs won. So what are you expecting from this round? I think it's going to be a big rebound for the Avs. In Tampa Bay, they lost a couple of games, yep. and they were hot. And they said it didn't matter that the Avalanche, you know, took the Stanley Cup from them last year, but it did. Yep. Vasilevsky was great. The Avs played well early, had a couple turnovers, couldn't recover. So now the shoe's on the other foot, back at Ball Arena. The Avs are going to be hungry. The rest of their home. I look for this to be... I mean, you could say another Stanley Cup preview. I don't know if Tampa can get out of the East again. Yeah. But it's going to be high-end, great hockey with so much raw talent on the ice. I just can't wait to sit up and watch this game. Oh, it's going to be exciting. And, yes. uh, and is, is this is this the outfit that we it's were going to be treated to? Yeah, well, because, you know, we kind of only talked about coming on yesterday. Yeah. And I hadn't planned my outfit. I never planned anything. Oh, but I okay. thought, wait a minute. i got to wear my pink jacket on yes. Valentine's Day. So I'm going to bring it out tonight, too. I love it. So Absolutely. Back to back. So if you see me wearing this tomorrow, it's not deja vu, it's happening. It's happening. Yes. Love is in the air, especially when the Avs beat the <laughs> Lightning. You know, Riker, when you talk about championship teams, a lot of times there's a player that's, that it's an X factor. Maybe yes. last year it was Nas. I, I don't know who you thought it was last year, but who would you say right now, not the Stars, obviously, who's the Avs X factor if they're going to make another run and win another cup? Well, you say not the Stars, so not Kale McCarr, so not, not McKinnon. Yeah, not Kale, not McKinnon, not Miko. You know, that extra guy. That okay. Well, last year... Burakovsky had a huge overtime goal in the playoffs. Yeah. So, that you know, Evan Rodriguez is kind of the fill-in okay. for Burakovsky. So look for him to have a couple of sneaky big goals. Mm -hmm. Alex Newhook, he's now 22 years old. This will be his second run. Look for him to have a bigger role. JT Comfort, let him keep doing what he's doing. Yeah. Maybe most importantly, it's got to be Gergiev. We talked about it yeah. earlier. A lot of pressure coming in to this season. You know, Stanley Cup team, he's the new goalie. Everybody loved Kemper. He's off in Wash. So, yeah, those four players, they all play well. The stars will shine the rest of the way, and we'll be going for back-to-backs. We've talked about Alexander Georgiev. You said, yeah, he is an upgrade from Darcy Kemper. What do you like so much about his game, and why do you think it'll translate to high-pressure moments like a Stanley Cup run? Well, I think nothing soft gets by him, yeah. and he's so good down low. I always say when I'm talking the game, he's got the fastest feet mm -hmm. in the West. You could see the NHL, so he's a highly acrobatic goalie. He's left, right, but down low, almost nothing beats him. Up high... He's really good, mm -hmm. but down low, it's impossible. So rebounds everything in tight. He just seems to cover everything. Plus, he's a gamer. He lives for the moment, and this is his opportunity. And what a second kind of breath of fresh air coming out of New York where he was going to be the star. Right. And Joe Sack and Chris McFarland say, come on here. You can be a star here. And I think he's embraced it. But don't underestimate Pavel Francouz. This is 1B. Remember, Pavel came in three games against yeah. the Oilers, had a shutout his first game. Yeah. So that one-two combo is the best in the NHL. I love it. Frankie says, relax, and that's what we do. <laughs> that's what he does. You know, uh, the trade deadline's coming up March 3rd, just a couple weeks away. Last year, I mean, Joe Sackick and Chris McFarland were spectacular. Yeah. Do you expect them to make any moves, and is there any player you're looking at right now that's saying that might be a good guy for them to target? Well, of course there'll be moves. Yeah. I mean, the abs are in their window, and they're going to leverage everything in the future mm -hmm. for now. Joe and Chris are smart. Yeah. They've been through it. They've made some moves that weren't the best in the past years. Last year, out of the park, home run. Yeah. So the only glaring thing is nobody's there to replace Nazem Kadri yet. Who's out there? I don't even want to speculate, but look for something in that area to be attempted. Mm -hmm. And if not, it'll be something just to beef up JT Confer and whoever else they want to put in that second line center. So something will go down. It's always 11th hour deal. Yeah. That's how it goes. Always. And we'll see uh, what those guys can pull out of their hat. What it, rabbit is there? You love to see it. <laughs> you love to see. You look at this final stretch of the season. Obviously, injuries have been a huge factor for the Avs. What do you need to see from these guys in these next couple of months, Riker? Well, it comes down to just slowly bringing the game back up to where it was. Yeah. Uh, you start eliminating turnovers at the blue lines, all the cliches, right? You got to get things in, get things out, clean up your game, stay out of the penalty box, but just start to bring your game to that level mm -hmm. where teams don't want to come into Ball Arena anymore like last year. But right. that comes with health, and that comes with getting the guys back. We talked about Byron missing 38 games. Mm -hmm. He's only 21 years old. Watch him raise his game up. So it's just bring it back up. Bring Sounds back easy up. to say. That's why I'm in TV land. Yeah but it's really tough to do. So that'll be the focus for these guys is start to rev up the engine so you're peaking game one, round one of the playoffs. I love it. I absolutely love that it. That easy. It's that easy, It's Robbie. that easy. See, he's out of here. It's that simple. And, of course, you can always catch Mark Rycroft before, after, during every Colorado Avalanche game on altitude and catch him, of course, tomorrow night when they take on the Tampa Bay Lightning and beat them this time, right? 
I'd, I'd put my money on. If you're points betting or whatever platform you're on, yeah. abs are going to be hot to roll tomorrow. There you go. I absolutely love it. Thank you so much for joining us, Mark. Mommy, my pleasure. Thank you. Guys, thanks for logging on. We'll see you next time.